My name is Baba Bertha and I'm here to introduce you to the awakening where the granddaughter takes you Oh, what's that flying at me? I'm always having things flying at me. Did you see that? Oh, that sign, it flew at me. Did you not see it? I didn't imagine it, did I? Anyway, uh, the granddaughter is here to take you from the dark into the light. That's what the awakening is. And I've got a nice uh, orange towel on today. She said it makes me more creative. So there you go. Anyway, enjoy the awakening. Do this. She wants me to tell you to do this and to click the bell underneath. Uh, I'm doing this because um, I want to put out the message like uh, Charlie Wood's little lad, Justin. I'm sorry if I'm not as, uh, as sweet as he is, but there you go. I'm doing my best. I'm Baba Berta and I'm the grandmother. And please enjoy my show as well. Baba Berta show coming today on uh, Moving On TV. Please subscribe, Moving On TV community. Oh, it's... it's Hey guys, welcome to Moving On TV. God, what a day I've had today. Walking around the local shops, talking to people, trying to wake people up. Um, it was just incredible. I had a really, really good time. And I'm going to be doing an interview tomorrow with um, David Corbett. Sorry, Kevin. Kevin Corbett. David Corbett. Kevin a doctor um, and um, had a long chat to him and that was really really fun today as well but I decided today to give back something to someone very very precious to me who I adore who has been an amazing friend and she and this she had a request for me today to do a particular song that means a lot to her and so you know, you can ask me, tell me what your favorite song is, I'll do it for you. And the awakening is going to be a lot at the moment about singing as well, because I want to sing, I want to do everything I love, and I want to spread love everywhere to all of you. And if any of you is feeling at the moment low or unhappy, um, I just want you to really, really try to tune in to what your dream is. Try to tune in to what you love. Um, and I want you to really start to think about what you want to do with your life, um, where you want to go, do you want to travel, you know, and all of this is over, please go once we've won. Um, at the moment, we need to fight, we need to stand up and we need to take our power back. And that's the most important thing. And we need to try to join and it's a bit difficult at the moment sorry my hair look at it <laughs> look at it it's a mess i'm a mess i don't care i don't care we need to take our power back um and we need to join we just need to join now um because what i'm trying to say here is we're at war and when you're at war you need to tap into what's the most important thing to you and you need to follow up on it. You know, if you were in the trenches now, you would be bonding with your soldier friends. If you were at war, you would be going underground and you would be fighting and you would be bonding with those that you're connected to. So stop fighting each other, guys. Come together, light workers, star seeds, indigos. All of you, just come together. I know this is a difficult time. This is Virgo. And I warned you that Virgo was going to be crazy. Virgo was, you know, Virgo is a sign that's so stuck. And Virgo wants what Virgo wants. But it's up to us to come out of that and to try to stay a little bit more balanced, even though it's Virgo. Virgo is a very, very stuck sign. It's a sign where as i said virgo wants what virgo wants oh jesus look at this <laughs> it's doing my head in my mum would kill me with hair like this luckily uh, there you go luckily she's not here so i can do whatever i want and um, so as i say virgo is the sign that keeps you stuck it's black and white and 
That's why a lot of people are falling out. That's why light workers are falling out all the time because we're stuck in our egos and our egos are coming up to die now. So we need to let it all go. We need to let it all go. And I'm using my singing as well. And you know, I'm having crying, having breakdowns. My life has changed from top to bottom because of this lockdown. If you know me, you know exactly what I mean. So much has changed. And I'm on my own here with the cats. It's been nearly a month now. And I'm coming out of it bit by bit. I'm coming out of it at the allotments and in all sorts of ways. I'm inviting you guys to come to the allotment and grow food, grow food with me. I've got this huge amount of space. You just need to ask, I'm here, I love you. And um, yeah, if I've hurt people because I've been in pain, then I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, but we've got a massive job to do and that's to save the kids, is to end this. And if you heard some, you know, like a bit of an earthquake in Aylesbury, then um, <laughs> something's going on underground. They're called dumbs and apparently they're releasing the kids. So anyway, that's all I know at the moment, but I am going to now do something for the most beautiful soul I know that has kept me every, nearly every couple of days. She calls me sometimes nearly every day. She's picked me up. She's listened to me. She's helped me. We met on the 19th, uh, 29th, sorry. I'm so grateful to you, Sharon. I love you, my sister. And I can't wait to meet you. You're giving me back that sense of trust in the human race as well, as well as other people who have come towards me and really, really a lot of love. A lot of love because I've been, I've been courageous enough to say the truth that I've got a lot of love. So here we go. This is for Sharon. It's our favorite song. And please ask me for your favorite song. I'll do it on here. Amazing grace. Sorry, that was the wrong key.
Love you, Sharon and Natasha and Alex. Thank you. 